All right. So um, I have this idea, right? I always have ideas. Um, I'm always thinking, right? It's all, always turning. I'm finishing out my, my gym workout, my little routine, my little four hour, three, four hour routine. But um, I have an idea, right? And um, I was thinking, not even an idea, but an observation that why it's important to exercise. Yeah. Um, why is it so important to exercise, right? It's like, it's very important to exercise. So let's just say for someone like myself who is a has a consistent routine, who has always had a consistent routine since I was a young kid, right? It's not, it's not like it was something that I had to intentionally develop. It was just something that I improved on, like, okay, I'm in Austin, okay, I'm gonna do this, you know, I'm doing this in my life, I'm gonna work out like that. You know, that's been the situation for me. But there's been periods in my life where the exercise and the, and the exercise stopped the focus on diet stop um, you know just that caring nature stops and I, everybody goes through it you can pretty much see I'm not going to say 100% of people go through it but the majority of people have these periods in their life and I've, I've had several of them you know um, and I'm, on, I'm 42 you know like the people that are 60 say I'm young the people that are you know the 20s i'm getting older i get sir uh but at the end of the day i have a lot of life to live and the majority of those up ups and downs have been in the past 20 20 years since i was you know you come out of high school and you get on your own and, and you don't have the stability of your parents you know you don't have the support right you're you're not depending on your parents now for people, it's important because even for the person that exercises like myself, I still go through those periods. And and when we go through those periods, because the food that we eat are pretty much drugs, are pretty much toxic, you know, anything other than fruit or some type of seeds like pecans or walnuts or something like that uh, in its whole form anything other than like that something that comes from the earth like some lettuce or something like that it's going to be toxic it's going to be um it's going to be wasteful into the body and the body doesn't know what to do with it and it and it will accumulate rather quickly and so that accumulation is so hard to get rid of because the cause is the food and the food that we typically eat doesn't change, right? I mean, people generally don't spend several years with the majority of what they eat, the far majority of what they eat are whole fruits, right? Most people are gonna eat some type of like cereal, whether it, whether it be post cereal with, you know, honeycombs or whether it be oatmeal or some type of rice type of multi meal um, you know all of that stuff is going to add to the issue right your meats all of your meats are going to add to the issue right um, and so if you're not routinely exercising if you don't have some type of routine where there's a, a substantial period of none eating in your diet like let's say, well, I'm not. I don't. I'm, I don't eat in the morning, or let's say I eat very little in the in the afternoon, or maybe I don't eat much at night. Like you need a period within your balanced diet. You need a period where you're just not eating much, right? And that's how you can stay. That's how people who are lean, cause they they can tell you all they want to. They ah, oh, I eat a lot. Now they eat a lot. They're comparing themselves to themselves, right? 
people that are typically small and say that they eat a lot, they don't know what 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 big people be doing when they eat a lot. You know what I mean? Like there's been periods where, you know, when I get up there and wait, I'll go to I'll go to H E B and I'll grab the little, you know, the big gallon, the whole gallon of ice cream. When I go home, I smash the whole gallon of ice cream. I, I've done that before. And you know, if I were to be someone else doing that that doesn't have a routine, an exercise routine, you know, when I was when I hit that 230, I would have ran it up to like 260. You know, and then I would have started panicking because I wouldn't really know. I I, I wouldn't have lost weight before. I, I wouldn't have the experience or knowledge of dieting. Like, you know, I went almost a whole decade of almost very with very very little so-called acidic food like your rice is you know no meats and I went so I understand what it takes to have the body lean all the way out right what I don't understand I don't have the experience of like a 10 day 15 day 20 day 30 day you know water fast dry fast there are people out there so I'm not I, I haven't I don't have that kind of experience but I do have the fruitarian experience um, but yeah it's important that you you get a routine because if not you're gonna fuck around and find out by the time you hit your 40s I mean a lot of people you can see it when they hit their 30s see some people in their 20s you know um, where they have the gut you know the gut is the gut is there and that's a precursor of disease the stomach because that's toxic you know what i mean that's like fecal, that's built up fecal matter and you got built up fecal matter everything all your other systems are backed up too your lymphatic system backed up all, everything that you're eating that your body can't get rid of is just it's just sitting in your body and it's an acid but I gotta stop this video because the size limit is about to whatever it just said on my phone. So, but I, yeah, I just wanted to get that thought and that idea out. I'm gonna post this, load this up to YouTube.